probably keep things moving. I want to leave time for the Q&A. <laughs> so sure. I went to Norway recently. Thank you. That's true. I got, I got asked to do a comedy festival in Norway, so I just flew the fuck over there. And um, Before I went, though, a friend of mine here in New York was like, Dave, how are you going to do a comedy in Norway? Do they even understand? That's how he talks. He's a fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> But here's the really the cool thing about Norway is everyone in Norway speaks perfect English, right? Only they only talk it, um, they only speak it when they're talking to you or when they're saying your name, right? So like, I, and I don't speak a word of Norwegian, right? So I was over there in Norway hanging out with the Norwegian people, and they're just like, whoa, 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 Norwegian, 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 Dave Hill, and I was like, what, what? Norwegian, 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 Dave Hill, I'm like, what, what's going on? Oh, Norwegian, 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 Norwegian. Dave Hill, I'm like, what? So it's kind of like being a dog, right? Like, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm like, pretty sure we're having a really good time. And they say my name every once in a while, and I run over, I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Are we going outside? What are we doing? And I'm like, oh, nothing. I'll go lie back down on the floor and go to sleep for four hours. But... The best thing about Norway is the people there are like just the the most gorgeous, most attractive, just tallest, most just beautiful people I've ever seen in my whole life. Like normally I'm into women, but like I got over there to Norway and like I wanted to make out with women, I wanted to make out with the men, I wanted to make out with like little old ladies, I wanted to make out with like even little little old men, but like no one in Norway wanted anything to do with me because compared to them I'm sort of like this gnarled up little troll man. <laughs> They're like, oh that's that's Dave. Go poke him with a stick. We'll get him in the morning. And so I was asking, I was like, what's the deal? Like, how are you guys all so attractive? I've never seen anything like it. And they're like, oh, it's because of the Vikings. And I'm like, what do you mean? And they explain it to me. So the Vikings, hundreds of years ago in Norway, would get in their, their Viking ships and just sail all over Europe and just start raping and pillaging and plundering. That was like the three main areas of interest, raping, <laughs> pillaging, and plundering. And they did other stuff, like they would like go into a bar and like, like run up like a huge tab and like at the end the bartender would like give them the bill and they'd be like, oh, I forgot my wallet. Um, <laughs> Or someone would be wearing like a perfectly nice outfit and they'd be like, wow, you're really gonna wear that? Um, but it was mostly the raping and the pillaging and the plundering. And it would go on for weeks and weeks at a time until somebody in whatever country they were in would, would just be like, you guys, you, you Vikings are just being dicks now. And they'd be like, oh, sorry, you're right. We should probably get going back to Norway. But before they would go, they would find the most beautiful uh, women in whatever country they were in. And they would, they would take them back to Norway and have babies and, like, and, and have families. They raise families. And like, it's horrible what the Vikings did. Like, I don't condone anything. <laughs> The Vikings did. Like, you won't find anyone more against raping, pillaging, and plundering than I. Pl plundering, I can honestly go either way on. Um, <laughs> my point is when you go to Norway now, hundreds of years later, and you look around and you realize, like, it's actually worked out <laughs> really well. Sh want, want, shame on you, Vikings, but also, good job, Vikings. Um, 